Hey y'all, and this is my level made for the Ninji Speedrun Challenge. This is in the Super Mario Maker 2 community group. This is called Melting Snowballs, so sort of a play on the official Rolling Snowballs Ninji, except it's quite a bit different. So, there are four different ways to beat the stage. I'm going to show you all four of these during the video. It's up to you to work out which method is fastest. So let's go ahead and play the stage. And here we go with the easiest method. So the main method, or the easiest method, should I say, is to get the five pink coins, then go through the door at the end. You have 200 seconds on this stage, so that shouldn't be too difficult. For this method, though, the pink coins are mandatory, so make sure you get them all. Not excessively difficult though. Well, hopefully not anyway. This is probably the hardest one as you need a big swing off the claw like that. There we go. Now for pink coin number four, which is just over here. Go in carefully and get it. You can either jump off the springs or wall jump like that. And for the final one, it's just a bit further on by the door. So for this, you can either do it like that, or you can jump off the springs. I think wall jumping may be quicker, but I've not tested out all the methods properly yet. And there we go, nice and easy. So that's the first method for beating the stage. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a case of remembering to get all the pink coins. And if you do miss one, go back and retrieve it. However, method two gets much harder. So you have to go in the pipe. You can either wall jump or swing straight in. Wall jumping is probably easier. And then you have this rather difficult room here. So the idea is to spin jump across, hit the on off switches, then get back in the pipe. Done something like that. I don't know how I did that first try. I was expecting to die repeatedly. Now if you do that, it opens up another door near the end. And you don't need to get the pink coins. So yes, it's basically a cheese method for beating the stage, so to speak. However, you have to get through that room and that's going to slow you down. So is that faster than getting the pink coins? Well, you can decide that for yourself. The stage is nice and easy, the pipes alternate at this point, and you can go in the upper door like so. And there we go, beat the stage by that method, so that's method two. Considerably harder than the first method, but definitely not the hardest method by a long way. So here we go with method number three. So as with the previous method, you're going to need to go in the pipe. and get through this room. Yeah, I'm not so good anymore. I thought I got a bit lucky on my previous run. This is a lot harder than it might originally look. So let's see how many times I die in this room before I actually do it. It's going to be a lot. Here we go. Attempt number four. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay, okay. Nice, there we go. And now you may or may not have seen this already, but there is another route that opens up. I'm going to show you this route. So yeah, it's quite a way on. Nice and quickly. So when you get to this point, you can see a red pipe here, and you can actually go in the pipe. And that leads to this section and a checkpoint, and there's also a pipe here. Now if you go in this pipe, you can beat the stage by this method, and that's the third way of completing the stage. However, you may have seen there's another section across from that point, past the checkpoint. So, now on to the final method for beating the stage. So as before, you have to hit that lovely on-off switch. And it would help if I could actually get into the pipe. 
Oh, come on, Mario. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm getting good at it. I'm finally getting good at this. Right. So, yeah, we're going back in that secret pipe again. Well, when I get there anyway. Yeah, it's quite a fast stage. It doesn't take too long to get there. Once you practice the stage, you shouldn't have too many problems completing it. Right, so here we go with that lovely red pipe. Here we go. So from this point, this will extend your timer, but there's a secret area at the end of this if you can complete the challenge. So here we go. So this is basically a Kaizo-ish sort of route. A completely optional area, sort of like on the Bowser's Castle stage, official ninji. This extra route for players who want an extra challenge. Oh no, I've forgotten to spin. I've forgotten to spin. Oh no! Okay, so yeah, remember to spin jump, basically. The bonus is if you get to this point, you can take it from the checkpoint, so... Not too many problems, hopefully. But this is the hardest part of the stage by an absolute mile, I think. The trick is to remember to spin jump, basically. There we go, nice. Then a bomb spin onto the claw. And then into the door. So yeah, there's actually a boss in the door. Bowser Jr. So yeah, just sort of do that. Jump across on the claws. Oh no, what are you doing Bowser Jr.? Wasn't expecting him to do that. There we go, that's the second hit. And then hit him once more. There we go, nice. Then go into the door. And that opens up this lovely secret bonus area. Where you can get a Yoshi and a star, fire flowers, one-up mushrooms, everything you want pretty much. So that's a bonus reward if you can complete that secret route. Then go in the pipe marked with the vines. And there we go, that gives the final way to complete the stage. You can get the top of the flagpole and finish with Yoshi. But that's the only way of completing the stage with Yoshi, so you're going to need to be quite good to do that. I'm going to do that once more, but try and do the entire thing without using the checkpoint. Nice. I'm getting quite good at that room. I think I can do the entire hard route without the checkpoint. We will see though as I try it, as I'm doing now. Of course, this is definitely not the fastest way to finish the stage. You probably already guessed that though. But it is a fun extra challenge for those who want a sort of Kaizo route. Well, easy Kaizo, should I say. Very easy Kaizo. There we go. So skip the checkpoint. Here we go. Remember to spin jump. That's it, nice. Probably the hardest part is this bomb spin like that. There we go. Or bomb spin, should I say. I nearly said that wrong. Right, now for Bowser Jr. Don't get hit by his fireballs. Good strategy. And watch out in case he does that jump. He's only doing fireballs this time, so that's always good. Right, I'm going to get the green Yoshi this time. It's not overly difficult. I mean, I've done all of that in under 100 seconds. Well, if I can get in the pipe, it would help. There we go. 
So yeah, I could have set the timer a lot tighter, but it's intended to have a lenient timer. It's intended to be a fun stage, a nice and easy stage to complete. And there we go, that's Melting Snowballs. Alright, and that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the stage. If you do give this stage a try for yourself, feel free to leave your best times in the comments and any tips or strategies you want to give for the stage. I know which route I would consider the fastest, but I'm going to let you all work that out for yourselves. If you did enjoy this video, leaving a like and subscribing to the channel is always appreciated. Thank you to those that have already subscribed. There are a few other videos you may enjoy on the screen right now. Feel free to check those out if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.